Fun to see Brittany playing well, expecting her second child in a few months' time. Loves this golf course. Lint to come to get to four under. And into the top ten she goes. At the eighth, Morgan Matro. Off that beautiful approach. Sorry. Oh, wow. Well, these greens, they can uh, get a little bumpy as the day goes on with the Poe coming through. Back in the third. And Christy Kerr with her third shot. She's been working hard on her game. Dropped a few shots coming in yesterday, so she didn't quite trust it coming down the stretch, but I'm sure. Go. Yeah, go, go, go. It's going to be okay. I'm sure she was happy to have those those nerves to feel that pressure once again. You gotta check them all. They can all be different. You never know. We only endorse those that are connected with Comcast and NBC. Is that the weather channel? Probably about 10 paces on and let it release up the hill. Go. Go. Green seem to be slightly softer today. But uh, Brooke, uh, Brooke Henderson is what everyone calls her, as I'm saying. I mean, you can say I want to include the middle initial. A little chippy here in the early portion of the broadcast. <laughs> Henderson. Can't get that to go. But I do have to hand it to you. You are correct. A little bit of a crosswind, not much. Already a good shot here. This is good yardage for it. She needs a skip. There's the skip. And there's oh, the shot. skip. Yeah. yeah. We didn't see any of those shots yesterday. Yeah. Nice. It's a really good roll there. So, Jun Young Ko off to a nice start here. Just a little lob wedge in. Be careful, three over par. She needs to make some hay here in order to be able to play the final day. 54 hole event. This is the ninth hole of the day for the first group out off of 10. The Aussie Stephanie Kiriaku had the lead overnight. A wild first eight holes. Made a triple bogey at 16. Came back with a birdie at 17. Get used to that. Let's go to four. And the second for Christy Kerr. Up and left. Up and left. Sit down. <laughs> it listened. Up and left, and it sat. Wouldn't you? I mean, if Christy Kerr at the fourth for birdie. Let's see if she talked to this one. She didn't say it loudly enough. Didn't reach. Yeah, driver's her favorite club in the bag. She likes to play it, hit it whenever she can, although this year a little bit differently as she's had to change drivers. Go. 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 As it goes just a little, she'd be good. Nice. It is. All right, there. Yeah. Right, oh, yeah, she used uh, the long driver. Give it a good go. Nice to see Brooke back on tour. It took a few weeks, so home. And, uh, Nine. Yeah, two good hits here for Morgan Matro. Trying to get it up and Ooh. down. So that's a really good touch. Victory like this woman. Matro for birdie. She did win last week on the ladies' European tour, so she's coming here with some. Just getting her round started. Last group off of this 10th this afternoon. 
whole location today, very accessible. I expect to see a lot of good shots here on the 10th. Okay, good way to start. She's in the first group out off of the first tee today, so nine holes in. And I think a bit of an advantage being early in the wave this afternoon. Get through the golf course before too much foot traffic ahead of you. It's about somebody else. It's a it's an unusual day. And she's got the E on the end of Morgan. Here she comes. This is a good line. It should hit right into that slope and then grab. It does. Why oh, she's burned some edges today. Jessica Peng. She just made it pink. Second flag stick. Second eagle of the day today on 18. Just to get it to the slope, we'll go back to the back part of the green. Sometimes you go with maybe a gap wedge, a little different shot than maybe with the lob wedge. If this spins, it could be really good. That is excellent. Yeah, what a shot. She yeah. made that look so easy. You can't really tell how severe that ridge is in the green. She needed to carry it on top. 25 years of age, going along well. A winner last week at the Italian Ladies Open on the Ladies European Tour. And this hole has been tricky for players to get it right with the distance. And she's done very well there. So that's a good shot. That's a wonderful shot into 11. This is Sweden's Frida Schenholt. Three back. Multi tier green with the back hole location. Ooh, Frida. Oh, coming out of the rough, she was able to control that. A, a fascinating field. You've got two of the top three in career earnings on the LPGA yeah. Tour here. Kari Webb, number two, and here's Christy Kerr, third. Shot, Christy. The location a little bit more accessible yesterday. There's a big hump just short. It's a little kick the ball forward if it doesn't carry far enough on. Sorry. Let's see, from what we saw earlier, she's been standing over these pots for a while. A little bit faster on that one, but that was slightly longer. It's more on the five-foot range. She seemed to be taking a little bit extra time, but beautiful stroke right there. We had just a trace of rain, but I think just the lack of wind, a little moisture in the air, is why we're seeing some these greens a little softer today. Good yeah. chance to get that back. breaking at the very end, but a good looking stroke. It looked like she hit it right where she was trying to. Stayed in it very nicely. I'll tell you what, if that trundles down towards the hole, that is gonna be a really good effort. Still very good indeed. Lindsay Weaver right. Second shot at the 10th. Yeah, and this whole location, very accessible today. There's a backstop players can use to get it close. Is that going to come back a little bit? Yeah, nicely done. Good player in his own right. many birdies. This was a moment ago at the 11th. Catherine Perry-Hamsky. And 
We've seen players struggle to get the distance right off the tee, but not Catherine Perry Hapsky. It just took a little turn to the right. Otherwise, it might have gone in. It's paid off. It's a huge mistake on that second shot layup. I know that. This needs to spin. Should do. To 12, and this for a fourth birdie in her last five holes, Morgan Matro. A winner last week on the LET, the first Swiss winner on the Ladies European Tour, trying to become the first on the LPGA Tour as well. A year ago this week, it was another Florida State Seminole. bounce here at the 11th. If you want to land it, there's a little bit of a false front short, and then once you get on top of the green, if you land it over that false front, it'll go almost all the way over to the back, especially playing downwind today. Sometimes tough to keep the momentum. Let's go to eight. And Frida Schenholt, three back. And about to be two back, I dare say. I tried to give it to Shinholt. Morgan said, hang on. There you go. Great shot. Great week. He's going to be on the correct side. Flew over on Sunday night. Saw her coach on Monday. All the way back, just on top of that ridge. Get it to skip up, but that's a little left. Some of the greens quite a bit softer today, and they're not going to bounce up quite like they were yesterday. I think she has to carry it all the way back here. There was a little bit of a backstop behind it. Okay. She should be able to spin it here. Definitely use that long slope and bring it back towards the hole, but that's going to come up short of that ridge as well. Back at the 10th, Jin Young Ko for birdie. Always like to see the bounce back here. Pretty straight putt. Yeah, just got to give it enough pace up that hill. In the hole. Yes. There you go. It was in the hole. Didn't crack much of a smile. It's not a look we're familiar with. Jin Young being frustrated. Lindsay Weaver Wright, the 29 year old. Native of Ohio, makes her home in Dallas now. Oh, trying to use the backstop there at 12. Nicely done. Lindsay Weaver Wright, four pars to start her second round today, but three birdies since, make it four. There is the outside possibility this could be the final round. Bear that in mind. Let's go to 12. And Leona McGuire, 75 yards on a good line. See if it's the right club. Need some birdies. Oh. Cuts going back to even at the moment. It's deep with it. That came out pretty clean right there. Oh, <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> what a shot. Just nipped it perfectly. And there was another one where he just stood over it. You expected her to take it back, I'd say maybe three beats earlier than she did. Really, no wind out here, what to speak of right now. Well, this is on a really good line. Just needs to hop forward. Yeah, you want to go. yeah that's okay. The throw for a par. To 12, Stacy. 89 yards. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, yeah. Good okay. listen. Yeah. Exhales. Yeah. Don't react. Start thinking mechanical. We might get a reaction if this gets up. Yeah, it's good. Started uh, working with a new golf coach. Wow. Oh, wow, it moved at the end. Gosh, 
what's that, the third or fourth putt she's missed for birdie from that range today? Yeah, she's had it in there. And yesterday, too, when you look back. So it's been one of those weeks. Kind of a narrow chipping stance that she's using with the putter. Yeah, it worked. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Needed every dimple. That's a perfect wedge now, Trey. A little thicker here for Lydia. Yeah, 136. This is a 9 iron. It's down green, so that'll help this shot. Cut it pretty clean. Might be going just a little left. Depends on the kick. Yeah, kick straight. Nice. All right. Shot. Shot. Just 125 yards to the flag, but not a best angle over here on the right where the hole is cut on the right. But she's taking it at the middle very high. That's a very smart shot. Should keep feeding towards the hole. And it does. Beautiful look for Birdie upcoming. Birdie butt here for Brooke. Straight down the hill. No mystery as to what it does. Saw Nordquist put on a very similar line. Been that kind of a day. Nordquist left it right on the edge, didn't she? Did indeed. Birdie says. So it's just two pars there for Henderson and Anna Norquist. Front hole location. A narrow target. Take dead aim on this one. We've seen you can get it close. Oh, beautiful. And she's bogey free, one birdie. With Europeans who played down in Tallahassee, for Coach Amy Bond. It's free to shin hold in that one. So it curled in. After the ones lipped out earlier. Lindsay Weaver right came out of the bunker to here, so this is for par. Trying to avoid those back to back bogeys, and it just doesn't turn. So that's going to fall her back to five under par. Remember, she got to within one of the lead. Pick that birdie at the 12th, and now finds herself three behind. A two for Matro. So she moves to seven under par and within one of the lead. And a par five to come. This is such a tough hole location today, all the way on the back of this green. This hole playing is the hardest hole today. In part because Stephanie Kiriakou made a seven, went over the green. Frieda Schenholtz with her second. Probably use that slope slightly left of the flag to bring it around or take dead aim. Good shot there. Her boyfriend plays on the Corn Ferry Tour. He just come off a second place finish. They talked about how last week they only played about an hour apart from each other. Yeah, they don't really? get to see each other that often. Yep. Surely they talk about their golf. And she will have a lot of good things to talk about today, the way she's playing. Tied for the lead. Now she's ready to play. as close as you can to that flag. It's not easy to get it close when it's pitched, uh, perched on the front of that green. Lindsay Weaver right trying to bounce back off those two bogeys. This for birdie at 17. It can be a difficult green to read this. It doesn't have a lot of movement in it, and that's uh, sometimes tricky on the eye. It's at five under. Frieda Schinholt. Hide for the lead. I just wanted to land something just right on the front edge of the green, just like that. Oh, that took such a soft bounce. It needs to land. It's not going to bounce over that second ridge if she lands into it with this short of a shot. It's drawing, which ought to get a little bit more out of it. Yeah, it lands it right Excellent. on the top of the slope. Beautifully done. Birdie. Might slide a little to her right. What a wonderful shot she hit in here. And pays it off. And she is within two. What a day for Lydia. Yeah, just 106, just a sandwood right here. Very accessible hole location. And that's on a good line as well. Yeah. Did well there. 
handful of eagles at 18. Pornanong Patlam, well, she could really use this. Outside the cut line, two putts to make the cut. One for an eagle. One it is. It's on a good line. If it gets all the way back, it does. 